Welcome back to the channel, a Jaden Chase. And if you're new, remember to like, to share, and also to subscribe. Now, tabloids are reporting that dancehall artist Squash has been detained by U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement, ICE, in Florida. Now, online records from the agency has revealed that on Monday night, May the 22nd, Squash, whose real name is Andre Maurice Whitaker, was being held at the North Service Processing Center which is a known ICE detention facility in Miami. Now, the artist's detention comes after the expiration of Title 42, the Trump-era rule that stated that, among other things, it had restricted the number of people that could be detained in ICE detention facilities, specifically the Chrome North Service Processing Center, which is in Miami. Now, this also comes after the Florida governor signed a law, an immigration bill, which he said was crucial to ensuring Florida taxpayers are not footing the bill for illegal immigration. So basically, they are stating that while Squash has been residing overseas for quite some time, they're not sure if Squash have a green card or citizenship. That's what means, eh? He would have faced deportation. Now, this could all be a misunderstanding. Remember when this had happened to Futa Hype, he was also detained by immigration, only to find out that, for whatever reason, he's still now in the country. So, maybe this is all a misunderstanding. And, you know, after all it started out, he'll be released. Some have also stated that Squash has been on. North America are North Americans law enforcement radar for quite some time. Seeing that there were photos of him and Jayman on the media who has been charged with a double murder in Florida and was named as a member of a criminal organization. So these are things where, of course, North America will look into. And if the paper wrote that day, we don't know what got Of course, we are keeping updated what take place with Squash and his recent detention in an ICE facility in Miami, Florida. I'm going to drop a like on the video. I'm going to drop a comment in the comment section. Now, on to the other stories that are making headlines today. Now, the office of the Prime Minister has confirmed that the Prime Minister will be keeping his compensation at the same level, saying that he will not be receiving an increase, the same increase that is being said to be given to all parliamentarians. The Prime Minister has stated that he will not be receiving any increase in his compensation, following the backlash that he said he knew would come after telling the people that there would be an increase. For parliamentarians, may I make one year one and they will continue the reason. What was said and they will continue the reason. Look and listen. What are we talking about? If you take the entire political class of maybe less than 300 people, I don't think their, their, their salaries come to, you know, even a hundred, maybe a, a, a billion, probably a billion point five at most. You put all of them together. So, I, I listen to the conversation. I want every Jamaican to understand that, that I listen. And we did this knowing that there would be political fallout. We did it. We know it's not political secret. It's not naivety or, you know, lack of care or lack of respect. We know. But we couldn't continue to do it as it has been done for decades by prime ministers before. And can you genuinely tell me that your circumstances have improved? Let's try something different. These are, I shouldn't even be talking about this because this is internal, simple housekeeping things. But these are the realities that go into ensuring that you have effective representation. And every government is afraid to uh, touch it because if you touch it, people say you don't deserve it. Why, why, why we should pay you more and the country not running well? The country not running well. But because of that very reason. 
you have chosen to have an underpaid political class. How must they deliver? It's what you choose. So when you go to the bar and you start to talk, start to talk about how we are going to get our politicians to be more effective by giving them more resources to be effective for which you can hold them to account. It is not going to happen by chance that they're going to be held account. I have to hold them to account. So when I call up the parliamentarians and say, why are you not at committee meetings? And then they tell me all of this. Boss, we don't have no room to meet. Boss, if I come, I just, I just can't, I don't know where I'm going to stay. Is it reality? For instance... Uh, yeah, so we know that these salaries... I mean, we've done our homework. So I don't know so that these you know, salaries... You, know, put, you don't want put, me to share with the public. Put, put parliamentarians no and ministers no in Jamaica higher than any other which is why country in the Caribbean region. You're trying region. to stop me from sharing No, I'm not. Okay, so I let, am saying let to you, I'm, I'm familiar with it, but my, and I'm my sharing it as well. are not. So, so let ahead, me go ahead go very ahead. quickly. Prime Minister for Jamaica is going to be over 25 million. Trinidad and Tobago Prime Minister is 13 million. Bahamas 13. Minister of Finance for Jamaica 21.7 million. Trinidad and Tobago 9 million. I'm quoting everything in Jamaican dollars. Bahamas 10.2 million. In Jamaica, Cabinet Minister will be at 20.2 million. Trinidad and Tobago 9 million. Bahamas 10.2. And an MP in Jamaica will be at 12.5. Trinidad and Tobago 3.8. Bahamas 4.3. How on earth do we justify these levels of salaries in a country that we're certainly doing far worse than Bahamas and when you look at what is happening elsewhere in the region? There's absolutely no justification okay, for this, surely. Okay. So, uh, again, we're, first of all, Barbados, Trinidad and Bahamas have not entered into a public sector restructuring. Uh, the way in which they have recovered from COVID has not put them in a position that they can add this amount to their wage bill to pay their public sectors. Jamaica is the only country in the region coming out of a pandemic that's been able to offer these levels of adjustments to its public service. And why secondly, the parliamentarians, secondly, given what we're seeing in terms of our level of development and our per capita income compared to those other yes, countries? Right, because of what we are going through, the experience that we have, Dion, we are unable to attract and retain the talent that we need to run the public bureaucracy. That is going to change in salaries alone will not fix it, but it will go a long way towards addressing that problem. Last year, a uh, My reaction really the whole um, salary increase for the government. Everybody deserves to get raised, you know? don't get me wrong, but I think that was too much and too fast. You understand me? Uh, over 300% increase, and they're not even willing to increase as regular work uh, more than 10%. So I think that was just too drastic for one. I think they basically held Jamaica that ransom. I think it's excessive. It's way overboard. Because I look at all the teachers and all the other public servant persons who were just the other day striking and doing all of that to get a little increase, and they were negotiating the hell out of it. And for them to go and do this now, it's too much. I mean, even if there, it was a, I would, I would, I would be fine with 70%. I mean, it's overdue for them when they just came in power. We know they didn't take a salary raise, but that amount is excessive. No, absolutely ridiculous. It's too much, brother. It can't work. That are too much in a one go. Him should have, if, if I even two more million added to it, three more, it would have good. But all at 25, too much of that, brother. And it up, it's a pressure into the whole entire country. Yeah, man. I don't think they should have get that high increase. Not so they don't deserve to get high increase, but that is way too much. Yeah, that yeah, is way yeah, too much. Because yeah. we, the taxpayers, they might go dig with them hard to pay for them to get that. That is it. Teachers deserve it. Because they work hard in the classroom for it. So we know that already. That's it. Well, honestly, I don't think they should have gotten an increase now based on how the economy is going. So I think it is totally unfair for them to get an increase at this time. I don't think it is. It makes sense. I was shocked. An almost 200% increase 
when minimum wage uh, got only four thousand dollars as an increase and i think jamaica should do an all island strike nobody should go to work because this has to change that's my thoughts now clearly the prime minister has heard the statements of the people not only on social media people actually took to the streets church leaders took to the streets it was even said that members of the security forces wanted to join in with citizens and was given a direct order by officials within the force stating that no members of law enforcement were to be there but that is rumored that it hasn't been confirmed it's just a rumor but people were saying that members of law enforcement agreed seeing that it, it took them quite some time for the state to say this at the increase of a goon and at the same time people were saying that it was less than what they had wanted so now to hear that parliamentarians are getting this amount as their increase of course they were in agreement with the citizens well tell me you think about the prime minister's recent statement and him confirming that he will not be getting an increase on his compensation and the reason again live love and prosper and stay tuned